This model took me three minutes to make. I didn't sculpt anything. I didn't retopologize. I uploaded a few photos and an AI did the rest. But here's what nobody's telling you about AI 3D tools. Most of them give you unusable meshes, broken topology, textures that fall apart in real software. So I tested Roden Gen 2 for a full week, pushed it, tried to break it. And what I found actually surprised me. Most AI 3D generators create a single solid mesh. You can't animate it. You can't separate parts. You can't actually use it. Rodan claims Gen 2 fixes this. Four times better mesh quality, separated parts, HD textures. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly when this tool is worth it and when it's a waste of time. I threw the hardest test I could at it. Complex shapes, multiple materials, reflective surfaces, everything that makes AI tools choke. Uploaded three angles. But here's something most tutorials don't mention. You can generate with just one image. The AI fills in what it can't see. The question is, how badly does it mess up? After a few minutes, this came out. Clean shapes, correct pose, most details captured, better than I expected, but I wasn't done testing. Because here's where Rodan does something I haven't seen other tools do. And this feature alone might justify the cost. Most AI 3D tools, you get one output, take it or leave it. With tools like Meshi or Tripo, if the first result is bad, you burn another credit or start over. Rodan lets you regenerate up to 50 times on the same prompt without spending extra. Compare multiple versions, keep the cleanest one. But that's not the feature that actually matters for production work. One click. The model splits into separate parts. Individual meshes ready for animation, rigging, and texturing. Why does this matter? In Blender, Maya, any game engine, you need separated parts to actually work with the model. Every other AI tool gives you a single fused mesh. Hours of manual cleanup. Here, already done. Half a credit. Blueprint preview before you commit. This is useful. Hit subscribe. I test AI tools like this every week and show you what actually works. But here's the real question. Does this hold up in actual production software? This is where most AI tools fall apart. And honestly, Rodin isn't perfect here either. Normal map baking keeps surface details while smoothing the mesh. Textures pull directly from your uploaded images. Big surfaces, solid, small details, some are off. Certain textures don't line up perfectly. Is it perfect? No, expect around 80% accuracy on complex models. But for the speed, that 80% gets you further than starting from scratch. And the fix is way less work than building manually. Exported everything. FBX, normal maps, roughness maps, textures, brought it into 3D software because parts are already separated. Materials, rigging points, animation controls can be assigned immediately. That cleanup workflow usually takes two to three hours minimum. Here, maybe 20 minutes of tweaks. For prototyping, game jams, client concepts where speed matters, this is genuinely useful. Here's my actual take after a week of testing. Rodin Gen 2 isn't for everyone. If you need hero assets, main character models in every shot, you still want a human modeler. Details matter too much. But for environment props, background characters, quick concepts, prototype assets, this saves hours, sometimes days. The part separation alone puts it ahead of Meshi and Tripo for anything that needs to work in a game engine. Links in the description. Free credits to test it yourself. Now here's the thing, getting one good 3D model is easy, but what if you need the same character across multiple shots? Multiple angles? Multiple scenes? That's where most AI tools completely fall apart. Consistency. I tested an AI that claims to have finally solved this problem. Runway Gen 4. And honestly, it changes everything about how AI content gets made. That video's on screen now. If character consistency has been killing your AI workflow, you need to see this. Drop your Rodan results in the comments. I want to see what you create.